Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Magic and Miracles, where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna, and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach, energy coach, life coach. Under the sun, reason why there's no such coaching program like my coaching program, simply because I've designed it myself during the last nine years that I've been a coach. And nobody but nobody spends as much time with an owner clients like I do. Two to three times per week, I get together with all of my clients via Zoom session or via a call, okay? And everything in my um, coaching is recorded for posterity, for notes, for you keeping track of, um, quite frankly, your progress and also to re-listen to it when you leave my coaching. You have you leave with plethora of material to remind yourself how powerful you are, how to do all the exercises, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In order to be in my coaching, you need to pre-book, sign the coaching agreement and send me an email um, with some availability when we can discuss um, why you're coming in into coaching with me, basically for our first session. If you're still making up your mind after having watched several of my videos, which I do recommend, um, you can book an hour with me and we can go over um, a plan um, to discuss, you know, um, your priorities in manifestations, uh, in my manifestation, etc. Um, and then I can apply that hour to your monthly. Um, and I do recommend two to three months minimum in coaching with me in order for you to be able to uh, go through the entirety of my coaching. That's a must. Um, and if you do that within the first month, you will see that you've shifted into the right direction and there will be literal confirmations in um your surroundings that you're doing the right thing. Um, the, the idea is to stick with it, okay? And the idea is to be patient with yourself. And I'm going to go over in this um, audio um, that I'm inspired to record why that is really important and why some people don't succeed and are frustrated with manifestation. I wanted to remind everybody, I forgot to mention this in a live that I had on with everybody on Saturday, August 18th, okay, August 18th, <clears throat> it's a Sunday, um, I'm having a group coaching session, okay, for a couple of hours, um, it's at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's still some slots, Okay, uh, the price is five fifty. I think it's two to three hours you get me for. I have to look it up. Maybe it's two hours. Um, we basically what we do is we are going to focus on certain areas of my coaching program, hence the you know group coaching, um, and it will uh, be an opportunity for you to sample uh, my coaching one on one, but also to walk away with definite tools that uh, will help you manifest better. Okay, there's nothing like one-on-one -on -one coaching, but this is something that would really benefit you. And in addition to that, a reminder that I do offer monthly audios that you get three times per week. These are another level of discussions, another level of material that I never posted on my channel, never will. Um, it's entry-level coaching because there are um, elements of my coaching one-on-one -on -one in there, hence the subscription. And so we discuss uh, specific people, manipulating energy, magic, spells, um, holographic universe, dreams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and I do take suggestions from my clients as to what they want to um, talk about. But I have uh, endless material because I channel everything. Uh, for my channel <laughs> and for for my clients and for um, the subscription audios. And lastly, but certainly not least, the video school has done tremendously well. I'm really, really pleased and happy to hear that. Um, it's a 12 video um, school that you get again three times per week. Um, go through all the steps of my coaching program, all the exercises, um, and do them, right? So each video is 30 minutes um, or more sometimes, and it gives you very precise instructions as to what to do. And many people already are, um, that have purchased, I don't know, it's like over 30 people now, um, have uh, come back and said that this is absolutely fantastic and they have shifts definitely it's not one-on-one -on -one, but still okay and many have uh, of them have then 
book the session with me to discuss some questions. So you could do the same. Okay. So <clears throat> in this audio, I really want to address um, a couple of things, <laughs> uh, but mainly why people are frustrated with manifestation, manifesting in general. So um, <clears throat> first of all, I want to address a comment that I um, was kind of like forced to delete. Um, I don't normally do it unless it's really nasty. So uh, this is too much surprise from one of my subscribers. And this is why I'm going to address it. Otherwise, I don't give a shit about anybody know this going forward that if you have nothing nice to say, just, you know, it, I have nothing to do with it. I've done more than enough for free, so to speak, meaning outside the coaching cost. Um, I've like offered a clusterfuck <laughs> of you know free audios on my channel like over 300 of them like I don't even know the number anymore that you know just listening to my channel alone I know that people have transformed their lives why because they've told me so okay via email I get emails all the time and I get comments all the time okay so I did that for a long time um I've recorded like a lot of things. Now I'm not recording that, you know, uh, that much because I feel like this is for my book and I really want to actually know who's listening. And this is why you signed the coaching agreement. Yes, I need to protect my gold, but also, you know, there's coaching elements in it, like I said. But you have more than enough on my channel to listen from. You also have the opportunity to talk to me during the live. So I feel like I've done like a lot. And also, if you notice, like, you know, if you've been on my channel for a long time now, for the two years, almost two years in October that I've been like uh, specifically recording for, you know, like specific people, etc., People asked me to do that and I obliged, right? So if you look at my channel, I used to charge so little. It was embarrassing. So, you know, I've come a long way in terms of like making this actually what I want it to be in terms of wanting to help people. Okay, so I don't understand the animosity towards me when I've literally welcomed you into my world, told you my story. Many times I do that. Um and, you know, uh, offered so many different techniques, so many different examples, so many different ways to be helped. So, and so I don't take it personally, it's not about that, but this is why I don't understand when people go ahead and, you know, have any kind of animosity towards me, quite frankly. I'm just, you know, doing what I want to do in order to help people understand how I manifest. And I've welcomed you into my world in terms of, um, I didn't have to be this transparent in terms of even with my clients outside YouTube, I have not been this transparent as far as I've gone on this channel in terms of discussing energy um, to such a degree and all of kinds of, you know, like personal um, interpretations of this reality and personal ways of looking at things. And I continue to do that. So it's really mysterious when my own subscriber, and I'm going to read the comment, um, hold on one second. Let me make sure this is recording. Mm, doo, doo, doo. Yeah, Immortal Coil. Uh, so this is a person who's been in my life. So I told him it's a he, apparently. I was under the impression this was a she. So I guess I should offer my apologies. But then again, it's really confusing because in some life, this person has said that it's Melissa. So I don't know. I'm confused. So, um, okay. And so I said, yo is not how we talk uh, on, on this channel because I consider that rude. Okay, uh, that's not a way to address a lady or anybody, in my opinion, who you respect. Okay, and you don't know me that well to address me that way. Uh, and nobody does, actually. Um, nobody who does have manners. So this is the, <laughs> the comment. <clears throat> so let me get this straight. I can't say yo in your lives, yet you cuss every video. Right. Yeah. So <clears throat> we use curse words on this channel and in my coaching for emphasis only. Or haven't you got the memo? Okay. Again, my me using curse words doesn't is not a disrespect to anybody. It's just an emphasis is just the way I speak to really make my point. So it's not directed towards anybody and no one but no one has ever taken offense 
to anything I've said in coaching or in my channel, but somehow you're having a bad day and here you are. You know it amuses me to listen to a bunch of decent looking chicks, mm -hmm. chicks, sit around and talk about manifestation as if life isn't set up for you to do this without metaphysics. That's misogynistic, in my opinion, and you don't, like, so after listening to my story, if you're saying this fucking bullshit, I don't know, maybe you're having trouble understanding English, first of all. Okay, and then it goes, you have no idea how effeminate and destructive this advice is for men. In parenthesis here, I've, I've coached thousands of men, nobody had told me that. Oh, just sit around and wait for that girl you like to stop blowing you off. And then whenever you are her last option and she reaches out and she reaches out, you've won. And her past decision shouldn't bother you. Wow. So listen, honestly, if you, if anybody, <laughs> you, this person, mortal, mortal coil or whatever, whoever they are, are coming to these kinds of conclusions based on what I say, Either you're washing your ears with jam in the morning or you literally don't know whose channel you're commenting on. Like, seriously, though, let's get this together. I have never said to sit around and wait. That is not at all what I... <laughs> you don't understand manifestation. So just come out and say it. Your life sucks. You're having a bad day. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not taking it that way. But this is a lot of people, I feel like. Okay, um, <clears throat> so parenthesis here, the belief is you're sitting, sitting around and waiting and the girl that's blowing you off and whenever, yeah, it's her last options. Okay, those are assumptions that you're making, mortal coil, this is not what I teach. Okay, so yeah, the SP idea is bullshit. Okay, so life is bullshit, let me guess, right? The next thing is life is bullshit or... Like, how far do you want to take your depression rather than, like, getting help? Seriously, though. If you're going to sell this idea to men, I'm not selling an idea, by the way. I'm offering a service. There's a difference. Selling implies I have to tell you lies for you to buy into something. I'm offering a service for those who understand what I do. Different story. Okay, if you're going to sell an idea to, to men, you should at least tell us to manifest the types of women we want around over an SP. It's whatever you choose. I've always said that also. Most women don't want obsession. Okay, okay, because you know, you clearly know a lot of, about women. So let me tell you something. Okay, let me read to the end. Guys don't want chicks who blow them off and mess with others. Our minds don't work like yours. I never said anything like this. Um, <laughs> you don't know anything about women if you're a man. Um, most certainly also because you addressed a woman with yo. So if you don't know how to talk to women, period, with respect and with the understanding that um, a, a woman is not, you know, an object um, who looks pretty and therefore is considered to have no brains, which is what you're implying to me, that for me, life is easy because I look pretty, right? So that's your, um, you know, being um, kind of like objectifying women, talking to them like, yo, no wonder you have problems. You need a therapist, not a coaching, you know, like channel or anything like that. If you are having problems in your personal life, that has nothing to do with manifestation. It just means you don't understand what manifestation is and you being angry about things that are totally in your control so instead of bitching on my fucking channel why don't you go to therapy or get yourself a coach who will put up with this kind of language which i don't okay not for one second i've dropped people out of my coaching for disrespect so who will handle you accordingly or will, will be willing to put up um with this kind of crap you have a lot of anger within you something happened to you and now you're on this like situation so listen if you if this is you i'm not for you i can't help you i ask that everybody who comes in into my coaching uh, respect me and so if this is you today um then you see the problem is you your anger and your frustration with yourself okay 
this does not, you know, require the entire world knowing about that you're having problems with anger. This is connected with something in your childhood that you're, you know, trying to get over. So this is what I feel like, you know, a lot of people miss, maybe, okay, not to this extreme, where it's like, you know, being frustrated about manifesting is like saying, um, you know, I'm frust- I'm, I don't believe, let's just say, in, in the fact that I'm alive. I don't believe that I can breathe. I don't believe that I exist. Um, manifestation works automatically, okay? You create everything that you create to learn something, Okay. And so if you're so hard on yourself that you can't even see, can't even be honest with yourself, that if there's something that's bothering you, perhaps you have been selling short, yourself short, perhaps you haven't been doing the work on yourself, perhaps you think of yourself less than. So that's a, like a much more honest discussion. Okay. That you have so much, you know, like, uh, venom within you that you you wanting to kind of like pollute somebody's channel or talk like this to somebody who hasn't done anything wrong by you okay so if anybody feels this way i think you know it's usually the ones that really need it the most like really need help like immediately okay but again in order to get help you need to get a hold of yourself and really be um accepting of the fact that there's work to do the end there's nothing else to do. I mean, your energy is so angry, mortal coil, that no, I mean, again, like I said, no wonder you have issues, but what's more, you'd rather put it on somebody else instead of fucking dealing with it. And you know what? There are many people that do that, and this is why life sucks for you, okay? So it's not about, you know, manifestation doesn't work or this and then the other. It's you. It's you. Period. The end. Why are people man, um, frustrated with manifestation in general? Is because yeah, I agree. You listen. This part I agree that you know a lot of people make it really fucking complicated. I mean, what can I say? This is why I came on YouTube. I was like, you know, during COVID, I was like, um, I actually started my channel right around the time when New York was in barricades. Not barricades. Um, they had have boarded up the um, windows of the stores, the really expensive stores. At the, I think all of them actually. And I remember, like, it was, I think it was late November, I want to say, yeah, right right around the election. And, you know, New York looked like a freaking freak show at that time. And somehow I got inspired to really do something about it. And I remember rec- recording basically audios about that have since taken off because, you know, it doesn't kind of flow with the rest of the channel. <laughs> But essentially, I talked about how, hey, don't give up and make art. Don't, you know, don't hate, make art or something like that. Um, And a lot of people came out and started painting on the boards. And I kind of like felt like I had something to do with that, quite frankly. (laughs) Because then I photographed those boards and it was lovely. And it was like a joyous celebration in my heart. And then, you know, I wanted to like discover, kind of like go on this discovery of like, okay, so... Let me see what I can do with this channel. Let me talk about, let me talk my weird shit and let's see where this takes us. And then somebody started talking to me about a specific person. I had no idea what that was. I really didn't. And I had to look a bunch of stuff up. All of it was fucking horrible. Okay, not for nothing. Uh, really just scary. I mean, I can see why people are having um, such a hard time because like a lot of information out there is fucking crap. I agree with that, but don't take it out on me because I'm fucking working overtime over here, unless you haven't fucking noticed, <laughs> recording audios for you guys at like t- like t- late at night. Why? Because I don't have a fucking life? No, because I care, okay? Like midnight, 1 a.m., like at the end of my day, okay, my man is like, what the fuck? Let's go to bed already. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I still fucking do it because I know there's this person who's waiting for me to say something on the other end. Many people now, but you know, um, individual, I feel like, you know, um, Lady Gaga, I think, uh, said that one time, I play a stadium like, um, like a small bar and I play a bar like a stadium. And I feel like I play, not play, I, I record on my channel, um, you know, like I, I, I record for a stadium, like I record for a small bar kind of deal, a small, um, you know, room. 
And that's kind of like, you know, I'm talking to one person. And today I'm addressing those who are like kind of not letting themselves get to where they want to be. And, you know, I recorded like a really good, what I felt like was really good um, audio. What was it? Was it Monday? I think it was Monday. Okay. Every day is like a century for me because I do so much. Um, Just yesterday, I think it was. Uh, Or maybe Sunday, something like that. And I said, you know, look, this is the recipe. Do something extraordinary with your life and everything will fall into place. If you're not doing something extraordinary, then don't, you're not that person who can manifest easily, okay? And by extraordinary, I don't mean, you know, uh, create whatever, something that has an, ex- like, I don't know, some really phenomenal invention, okay, for the world, but something extraordinary, like out of the ordinary, literally. Do something out of the ordinary for you that will enhance your life, like, Okay, this evening, my assistant came back from the store and he brought me this um, situation, dry fruit. I, I love dry fruit. And uh, he said, I thought he would, you would like this. And I look at it and it's kiwi pineapple discs. It blew my mind. Let me tell you why. And he said they had a bunch of other ones. And if I like this one, he'll get me more. It's a bunch of discs, this like supermarket that's new around, whatever, in, in our neighborhood. Not really close, but it, it's there. <laughs> um, this, hence, my assistant has to go. Um, created this line of dry fruit. Really fucking chic. Okay. And it's, apparently they came up with these discs. Okay. They're like, I don't know, maybe six inches in diameter. There are different kind of fucking discs. What this is, is like they meshed the two together and they made made like a disc out of it. (laughs) I don't know. It's really fucking cool. Um, This one looks like it's made of gold. It's extraordinary. Um, And they had like a guava one and whatever, uh, papaya one and this one and that one. So somebody got excited one day, a guy or a, or a girl, and got off their ass and said, you know what, we're going to make these fucking things that we're going to call discs, okay, not slices or whatever, not like whatever, chips, discs, okay, this is fucking awesome, somebody's invention, like I've never seen anything like this before, I've seen this like in a larger form, whatever, but like that is fucking cool as shit, Okay, so create something like this. Get excited about some new thing in your life. Create a business. Always said that like all day long I say elevate your mood. Get passion oriented. Get dream oriented, okay? The universe is always for expansion, always for more, always for addition, good additions in your life. What are you adding to your fucking life right now? This bullshit shit you're leaving on my channel mortal coil (laughs) i'm going after this person or are you like investing maybe like get a side job so you could come into coaching with me all right not that i would accept you anymore (laughs) you're blocked that's it that's the penalty can't we take notes Uh, You know, this is what I'm talking about. Get fucking passionate about. Don't be bitching. Work on yourself. Work. Get out of bed in the morning. Today, I'm going to work on this. Today, I'm going to work on that. And I really mean emotionally. You have to start investing in your betterment physically and mentally. And start creating shit that's not been there in your life before. Whatever it is you're working on right now, your SP, your car, your house, your career, whatever the fuck it is that you need help with right now, all lies in passion. If you don't have fucking passion, you, you operating from the, this victim mentality, I can't really do anything. Well, don't worry about it. Your, you know, your wish is my command, the universe says, and then you, you won't be able to do anything about it. Self-fulfilling prophecies are fantastic like that. What can I say to you? Okay. But you want to go into the world where all your good is out there. Well, that world, my darling love, contains, ladies and gentlemen, I should say, contains all the things that are of a higher vibration. And you ain't going there if you're bitching and moaning and getting frustrated and this and that. What is there to work on should be the question. I got to work on this. I got to work on that. Okay, hanging on to an idea, being obsessed with an idea over yourself is the biggest fucking crime you can commit against yourself. Okay, 
I've said it. If your priority, if your mood can change because of some fucking SP or whatever, 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 and you're not in check with your mood, you're not in check, you don't know how to control your emotions, you don't know how to get back in center, you have work to do. That's it. You have work to do. And that is worth acknowledging. So, but turning it around and making it again, I am what's happening. Not 3D, not 3D, not 3P, not SP. <laughs> All the abbreviations under the sun. <laughs> oh, love. I love this audio so much. <laughs> because it's honest. It's authentic, okay? It's not what it's about. It's about you, your energy. You create with your energy, invest in your fucking energy. How many times have I said this on my channel? Go, you know, uh, drink some chamomile tea. Calm the fuck down for a second, okay? Just relax. Go take a bubble bath. Go smell the roses. Go, I don't know, go shopping a little bit. Go take a walk. Go smell the air. Go look at the clouds. How beautiful. How extraordinary this life freaking is, okay? Thanking for the things that you already have that you're able to create for yourself and looking around at how fucking amazing this world is. Then you're in a position to create more. And every time I did, I've done that is I got inspired about an expansion in my life, meaning what's next? What am I going towards? It should scare you a little bit in a good way. Wow, if I achieved this, this would, be, this would blow my motherfucking mind. That's the frequency you're going towards. And from that fucking frequency, when you're working towards that, you ain't worried about no SP. It just comes automatically. How many times have I said that? Again, like keep repeating myself. Seriously. No wonder there are copycats. <laughs> you can learn by heart <laughs> everything that I say because it's fucking true. Every time I've done that, I, I made decisions. Decisions are necessary. There's no, I mean... What are you doing if you're not deciding? You're the CEO of your life, right? Listen, I'm dropping gold here, so you better fucking pay attention. And be, listen, I show up with gold, show me some love. Don't leave such comments here anymore. Not because it hurts my feelings. I don't give a flying fuck. Do something about it. Invest this fucking energy in you, all right? Just drop that shit. You're just going to lose access to the most wonderful coach you will ever find. And that will be all you're doing, okay? Seriously, though. And no, I'm not a narcissist. And no, I'm not a braggart. It's the fucking truth because I'm totally offering something that's never been done in the way that I'm doing it, okay? In the way, in the honest and authentic way, just breaking down all the bullshit you hear out there, okay? And no, it's not a crime to really know that you're worth gold. This is what I teach people in my coaching to appreciate themselves more and know what they're made of. In order to change worlds, you have to make decisions. Decisions are necessary. Where am I going? Okay. Okay. What would it look like? What would be there? What kind of money? What kind of honey? Do ba do ba do. And then it needs to be that you take action on it. You go to that neighborhood you want to live in. You go take a tour of the house. You, you buy maybe a little piece of what you can afford if you can't afford anymore. Um, let's just say it's a piece of fucking very expensive makeup and you want the entire shebang, the lux luxurious lifestyle. Okay, but this fucking makeup represents where the fuck you're going. Because if you can't afford, you know, $80 lipstick, then most certainly you make, you know, over a million dollars, let's just say. I'm, I just, I'm just saying, okay. I mean, you should really watch it, like how much you spend on makeup. Just kidding. No, load it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then act on it. Be that person. Breathe like that. Walk like that. Know that this world is real. Oh, clearly it is real for other people. Why not for fucking you? Oh, because you're so special. You deserve suffering. Oh, okay. Out of everybody in the entire universe, you're the only one who deserves or somehow, you know, isn't good enough to be like doing in the same way and having the same rules of manifestation. That's self-entitlement. I'm sorry. <laughs> the same rules for everybody, darling. The same rules for everybody. You know what I have in my uh, bathroom? Yes, I'm this freak that I have like sayings all over my house. 
and of course in the bathroom i spend a considerable time uh, amount of time there um i one time i just had this thought and i wrote it down everything is already yours if you let yourself have it if you let yourself have it the only one who's standing in the way of what it is you want is you that's it and how you let yourself have it stop fucking whining and allow the possibility of things actually working out in your favor. You haven't contemplated that. And or you have drama, trauma, panorama to work through. And everybody has that. I don't care how, mu- how wealthy you are, how well known you are. I've met all sorts of fucking people in, in my practice. Uh, nothing fucking phases me. You couldn't impress me for shit. Okay. Everybody's got drama to work through. But that's the work. But that's the way. But the benefits of the work are so fucking enormous that instead of like bitching again, invest, invest, invest in yourself, invest in finding out how to better your life. What the fuck are you doing if you're not doing that? I have no idea. Like literally no idea. I do this every day. But every day, multiple times a day, what can be better? It, can this be like the smallest fucking shit? Like I'll give you an example again from my life. So you can't say, you know, that I don't share enough. I, I found this mousse, um, whatever, my hairdresser, I um, brought it in one day. And this mousse that I put in my hair, oh my fucking God, it's amazing. It's ama- I had some, I don't know, some other mousse. And I was like, I don't know, um, let's just say, I don't know, maybe it was like $8 or something. And this one costs a little bit more, but it's fucking bloody fantastic. It's like the best mousse that I've ever had. I have to look it up. It's something about sexy hair or something like that. Red. And that mousse is like the upgrade for me. But the smallest things like that, the little miracles create big ones. You start small and then you augment and here you are, superstar. You have your magnificent life. That's it. And then so many times it happened to me where I got a glimpse of that world whilst I was, let's just say, visiting a, um, you know, a neighborhood, the site, how I created my life from scratch. And everybody can do that. When I was visiting the neighborhood that I would eventually live in, okay, I had a glimpse into this vision of what my life would be like. You get these downloads, you get these visions, you get these... Uh, aha moments, inspirations, inclinations, blah, blah, blah. The universe is so on your fucking side. Just drop the, the, the desire to, to fall victim to what was. Drop the desire to repeat the same shit over and over again. And drop the desire to struggle. Okay? There's no fucking struggle in manifestation. It's easy. The one that's in the way is you. If you think okay, that you don't deserve something, if you think that everything has to be hard, that it's a challenge constantly, I mean, some challenges, yes, to learn, to grow, but such challenges that you cannot possibly overcome them, and you get into a bad mood and start bad-mouthing people, fuck that shit, who are you becoming every single day, right, and, and it doesn't serve to suffer, because it's the frequency of never-ending fucking suffering, so find out what to do about it, okay? And that it can be easy, yes, for you, just like for the people who already fucking figured it out or had no resistance towards it since birth. There are some people like that, I don't know. You know, yeah, they have their own, like, portion of situations that they're dealing with, but for the most part, you know, life is pretty good. Here and there, you need some adjustments, but suffering for what? For whom? Why? Time wasted. And to be honest with you, Everything that I'm teaching on my channel, everything that I'm talking about, everything that I'm teaching my clients, everything that I'm recording for my monthly audios is literally the shortest fucking cut that I could ever possibly imagine anybody offering anybody. I'm so serious right now. In order to not make mistakes that I've made in my life and in order to just completely like shoot straight into the, I mean, the life of your dreams, as it were. Okay, so you so that you don't waste time so that you know exactly where you're going so that you know exactly what to do. And that's a fucking gift, in my opinion. Like I always say, I wish somebody did this for me when I was looking for a coach, but it wasn't available, at least not, you know, still not available because I was supposed to be that coach. And so it's you who needs to allow themselves to go there. 
to go there, to experiment, to explore different worlds, different realities, to really understand that there's a better way. I, there's no other way to say it for me. I've struggled before I've suffered. It was time fucking wasted. If I had figured out what I'm teaching in my coaching early on, fuck, I don't know where I would be. But maybe this is how it's supposed to be, honestly. Because honestly, I don't know that I would be coaching today if certain things hadn't happened in my life. And for me, this is the biggest thing, the biggest kind of like um, personal satisfaction, if you will, to teach others and see them transform their lives in such a relatively short period of time where it took me years to get to this, right? So if you're still frustrated after this audio and you want to book my coaching, you know where to find me. Please be nice, please be polite, and please be kind. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.